Greetings and welcome back to my channel. This is your sis Kathy Yvette and we are about to hop in here for season 2 episode 7 of Zatima. Now, let me know who do you think is trying to set our girl up? Mm, somebody not doing her right. Let's get into it. Now, when we left off last week, Zatima, well, not Zatima, Fatima, had busted in on our boy, right? Now, after she found out it wasn't another woman and he was just enjoying her little gift, a.k.a. side piece, she went and continued her conversation with Angela. Angela was like, is everything okay? She was like, yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. It's okay. It was just, you know, old girl from next door, I guess, having sex with her man or whatever. So she was like, oh, okay. So then she goes back upstairs and Zach doesn't find that funny at all. And she's laughing at him. And I'm like, come on, Zatima. I mean, why do I keep saying Zatima? Fatima, why are you making fun of our boy? You know, you did this for a break. So if he's enjoying the little side piece, let him have his pleasure without you making fun of him you need to be laughing at yourself or jumping to conclusions after you were the one who bought him this so he was like go on get out of here you know get ready for work or whatever and our man looking deflated right now i know he's probably embarrassed he can't believe he doing this never went through this with a woman before but you know our girl needed a little rest so he was like um that's the best you know punani he ever had except you know she don't squirt she was like uh yeah you got that right i'm like uh y'all y'all getting a little risque in y'all language mm, okay tmi <laughs> so now we get into zach going to you know talk to his boy I ain't gonna say cry on his shoulder but you know he, he needed you know one of his sane friends you know to give him some advice he, you know he know about the situation with Fatima, you know, wanting to give a break, not really, you know, getting involved sexually. Um, just the whole turmoil that they're going through is really getting the best of him. And he also brought up the fact that, you know, Deja called him one day because of her, you know, the other day because of the water situation. And she went up there and she all soapied up and, you know, the bubbles and all that. And it, it was tempting, you know, old Zach would have went there. But he's trying to be good. Like, you know, he needs advice on how to deal with this situation. It's becoming a lot. And, you know, I commend Zach because that was a lot of pressure. It's twice he went over there. She playing games. But she's a beautiful sister and she wants him. And going through what he's going through with Vatima, um, it can be tempting. But guess what? He's hanging in there. So he let it be known also with the situation with the guy on the job uh tony told him yeah they have you up on the internet with that situation with the guy you know with them fighting in the elevator it's out there but he's trying to tell him you know don't try anything you know too hasty you gotta do what's best for you so think about it make the best decision you know um even though that's your girl you know you love her tony knows that he's serious about her um and he doesn't want him to do anything too hasty but this is when he shows him on the phone the the funny little thing with with him and the guy in the fight in the elevator and the guy yanked him up i mean this is out there and that melinda with her messy butt no i'm not gonna say melinda i'm gonna say angela because she sent it to melinda um she would do something like that so zach is like okay you know he's pondering over his advice now this is what i like when the, the young uh talks to old school and so here's the old cat out the the um barbershop and he's like you know man you know that's the problem you youngins you know need to take some wisdom and it's true you know when it comes to innovation technology maybe um expanding your horizons the young can you know millennials can help you know us gen z's or what have you i mean uh gen x's those of us who are a little more uh old school but then that wisdom that we can bring to the youth can be taken he said watch who you take 
advice from and that's the best thing you can take because misery loves company like i said early in the season when it comes to nate you nate and his raggedy stuff you can't so the brother shared you know his situation with a woman once and i guess the mistakes he learned from that um he doesn't want him to make them same mistakes so at first <laughs> zach was a little skeptical but he wound up having a nice conversation with the brother and he really did give him some good advice now here we go at the therapist's office and who do we see paul coming in from talking to the therapist now to me it's a little conflict in there when it comes to paul liking her and sending her to this brother of course he can be in his ear telling him what he wants because he you know i'm sure already explained the situation or what he went through with zach and you know him liking her and now that information is in his therapist slash friend's ear so you know fatima apologized for what happened of course she's grateful for her giving him this information he was like that's fine or whatever you know he did kind of you know met, whack his jaw a little bit and so she felt a little bad because you know he he was a little hurt you know zach got his good punch in there and he apologized for that but he was like you know i've i've experienced that before she was like wait a minute what, what you been into or whatever <laughs> so he was like no no i guess maybe this ain't the first he ever, you know men they go through things with each other so in walks the therapist and he like oh you must be fatima you know i heard that you beautiful she like thank you or whatever and here he go blushing i told you he was in old boy's ear already and you can tell from the conversation when he first when she first went in his office but anyway she thanked him for seeing her and then paul is on his way but before he leaves he's not going to waste any time giving fatima his number gave her the card you know if you ever need me um here's my number what have you fatima took it looked at it and then she said no thank you i said i commend the sister that's right no excuses because if you have that number and something goes bad you may be tempted to use it so i'm glad she gave him the number back and that was sent a message for him like oh wow she really respects this man that she's with because men will try you just like women will try you so he leaves and she goes in the office now something that he says to her you know have my antennas up because he kind of told her how you know um sometimes you know what i guess with certain situations with individuals you go through problems and you realize based on his scenario because he's divorced and he said but i remarried and even after trying i guess and going through my healing i realized i was with the wrong person so mm, do put in the comments do you think he made that comment looking out for his boy as if fatima is with the wrong man so she was like yeah okay uh you know i get it or whatever she took it with a grain of salt and then she told him the situation with um her and zach and one of the things he told about which was very nervy was he asking her questions Fatima, um, like I said last week, sis, you need therapy too. Just the way you ran up those stairs like a maniac when you heard Zach moaning, ready to fight. I mean, there's issues you going through. Just the interaction with you and your mother, dealing with your dad being in prison and your stepdad. You have a lot of baggage and things you need to deal with. And plus past relationship trauma as well. So to think that she's good is a problem in and of itself and and the doc saw that he heard that in her like she's like nothing's wrong with me yes there is and there's a lot of women who bring men to therapy thinking that that they all right so he's taking a little notes on that she's like what you writing <laughs> like what you writing it's making her a little uneasy but it's true i mean both of you need your own set of therapy and you know then you can maybe do couples therapy but you have your own stuff you need to handle because you are a spitfire fatima and that can be a detriment to your relationship as well so he says does zach know about this which is another issue that i think is wrong you can't be signing your man up for therapy and he doesn't know about this you can't blindside him i think it's really rude and disrespectful i think she should have had a conversation with zach before she went to somebody else especially somebody that paul referred because he won't take that lightly and i'm sure if it, the shoe was on the other foot she wouldn't like it either so she wanted to set up this meeting and make it like you know one of those happenstance type things um where she's he's going to come over for dinner with angela 
and Bryce, which I think is totally crazy, but that's the route that they're going to take. Put in the comments what you think about that whole setup. Now, Zach gets to your office with Bryce, and of course, what's her name? Uh, Valerie. Didn't see her in a minute, but she's there. Of course, she getting her little blush on. You see her little face? When Zach was like, she was like, you look nice. And he was like, yeah, you look nice too. And uh, there go Bryce looking. But he's talking about this multi-million dollar deal um, that they're talking about. And I'm like, Bryce, why are you in his pockets? I mean, I don't know if you've seen Zach's portfolio. You know how much he got in the bank. But this is a big project. And it's a little too much for Zach to, to chew right now. He doesn't want to jump the gun with something that's so... Huge, And she said, well, don't take your time because it may be something that, you know, somebody else will snatch up. He was like, I can't do this right now. So then, you know, Bryce is getting a little irritated with Zach. I mean, that's his personal choice. So he was like, you know, back up, you know, the, the little language that they use in Zach is getting really uncomfortable with Bryce. And for him to, you know, overstep his boundaries and then want to take it lightly, that takes a lot of nerve because, no, he doesn't want to deal with you like that. Bryce needs to give him some time. So now Fatima and Angela are talking about the situation with the therapist. And Fatima's just trying to get her in on the plan. When they come over, you know, she contact the therapist and, you know, make it like it's basically their friend, their idea. And this therapist can work his magic um, during the conversation. I think he's going to see a lot more than Fatima intended and not just the situation with Zach. I think he's going to um, open up a can of worms with her as well. I can't wait to see how that goes. So Angela agreed and they supposed to be preparing for this whole scheme with Zach at dinner. Now, Zach is at the office. And you know, this whole scheme with somebody's taking over Fatima's um, profile, which I do. Please put in the comments. Who do you think is behind this? What do you think is going on? Who is trying to catfish her or set her up and really make her look bad? Because mind you, Nate saw this on his phone. You think Nate's behind it? You think Angela, Melinda? Put in the comments who you think is behind this scam. So Tony is really not buying it. Zach isn't either. Zach is like, you know, I'm looking out for you, boy. You know, I don't like her. You know, I mean, well, he ain't say he don't like her, but you know he don't like her. <laughs> But she's doing something, you know, um, I'm going to find out. They reached out, sent a message, hit the girl up. Now, whoever this is, you know, did respond. And the crazy thing about it is when he did hit her up on the phone, because, you know, Tony and Nate going back on how crazy it is. Zach's trying to tell him, you know, you need to stop. That's not Fatima. And he don't want to hear it. But as he left the message, the girl wrote back. And said that she will meet him um, under the stairs or by the stairs somewhere at work. Now, Zach is like, oh, my God. Okay, is this really her? In the meantime, Zach gets a text from Fatima saying she's going to be an hour late. So, of course, you know, it's just a coincidence that that happened. So, now they think, oh, this is really her. She delayed in coming home because she's meeting Nate under the stairs. So, he's like, this chick ain't no good. I told you. I'm going to find out. I'm going to meet her. So then in the meantime, Zach is like, y'all real wild, you know, you crazy, that's your boy. Um, but he said, I'm going to follow him. So, of course, Tony always got to look out. And he was like, you know, you ain't going to find her. That's not her. Zach don't believe it. <clears throat> but then he's thinking. <laughs> they leave and now they got him all up in his head. And he like, what if this really her? Because he's thinking about that text. What if this is really her? He got his issues, you know, the stranger who dropped her off. So what does Zach do? He grabs his coat and he runs to catch up to them because I got to find out if this is really the case. I don't know, old boy, who dropped her off. This is really looking sketchy. What do you think? Who do you think is behind this setup to, to you know, catfish them using uh, Fatima's profile? This is becoming absolute madness, Okay. Family, like, share, subscribe, and let's get ready to get into episode eight.